Okay, so today is pretty much going to be a huge haul of random things. There's makeup brushes, there's makeup, there's lip products and body products and nail polishes and a couple of um, just some random like decorative things. Please excuse me, by the way. I just got back from the gym and no, I am not one of those people that goes to the gym with a full face of makeup on. But um, I actually worked earlier today and came home, changed clothes, and went straight to the gym. Um, the reason that I decided to go ahead and film this was because I wanted to um, talk about the Ipsy Glam Bags, um, like what you get in it. I wanted to go through what all you get in those just in case if anyone was wondering because I know there's a bajillion of the like monthly beauty box subscriptions. Um, I do the Ipsy Glam Bag one. Personally, I think it's close to one of the only ones that's actually worth the money because you get a lot of actual full-sized um, products in there. And I stopped at the post office on the way to the gym and it was in the mailbox. So I decided to go ahead and come home and sit down and film this. I have wanted to film it for a couple of months now, but my in-laws came to visit and then just random stuff kept happening. So I decided that I was going to make myself sit down and film this today. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump straight into it and try not to blabber too. This is the little baggie that it came in this month. I think this is cute. I'm actually about to go back to the state so I think I'll use this to put like some makeup brushes or something in like for traveling. Um, but the first thing that I got in this one is a Pop Beauty Pouty Pop Crayon. It just looks like this and this is like a full size lip crayon. And this one is in Fuchsia Flirt. And I actually really like this color. I'll swatch it for you and see if it'll pick it up. It's just this really light, like almost baby peachy pink color, but it's really pretty and it feels really good on your lips. Like it's really, really soft and moisturized. Um, the next thing that you get is a Benefit Benetint and this is the cheek and lip stain and you open it up and it just looks like this. And this one is in the color Rose. And this literally smells like rose. It's just like a really pretty rosy pink color. Um, it's a little tiny bit darker than what it's showing up on the camera. And you can layer it up and make it, you know, darker if you need to. So that was the second thing. Then you get a BH Cosmetics. And this is the California Collection. And it's an eyeshadow sample. And there's the eyeshadows that you get. So you get this purple one that's called Hollywood. You get like a brown bronze one called San Francisco and then there's a really um, pretty gold one called Malibu. This is the Kula Mineral Sunscreen for your face and it's a tinted moisturizer. And this is just like a little sample bottle but I mean it's still a nice size sample. It's not like one of the little paper um, things that you get. It's actually a nice size to me. So, um, oh, I'm missing something. Go. Oh, and then the last thing that you get, obviously this didn't fit in the bag, it's this, uh, the Sexy Hair brand, and this is the Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Renewal Beach Spray with Argon Oil, and it says Beach Look Conditioning and Texturizing Spray with Argon Oil, and it's just a little spray bottle, and that's a good, I mean, obviously that's not the huge one that you'd buy in the store, but this is 1.7 fluid ounces, which to me is a good sample size. So again, for this one, you get Benetint Lip and Cheek Stain, the Pop Beauty Lip Crayon, the Sexy Hair Beach Spray, the BH Cosmetics Eyeshadow Sample, and then this Kula um, Sunscreen Face Sample. So you get all of this plus the little bag for $9.99. So I just wanted to share just because I know that there's a bajillion of these different things out there and a lot of people don't really know which one to go with. I went with that one. I was actually watching one of Candy Johnson's videos and she is on the Ipsy team, I, I think. I think she's on the Ipsy team and she had talked about it. And I would heard so much about all of the other ones like the Birch Box and all of those. So um, I had never heard of Ipsy until she was talking about it. So I went on the website and looked it up and to me it just seemed worth it. So. Thank you, Candy Johnson. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to show you is some stuff that I ordered from Makeup Geek. And 
this was actually again I was watching someone else's YouTube video I was watching um, Jacqueline Hill so thank you Jacqueline I love her videos by the way she was talking about a brand called makeup Geek, and I wanted to try the eyeshadows because I have the like the Mac the eyeshadow pan, uh, refill palette where you can buy the little pans but I wanted to try these because I think Macs are like 12 or 13 dollars for the little pan or the little refill palette pan thing and these were like six dollars so I decided to try these and I absolutely love them I put them I've used a couple of them already but I put them back in the packaging just so you could see what they look like but I love these um, and the ones that I got are um, I got peach smoothie which is just like a fleshy kind of peachy color so this is last dance and this is just like a purpley got maybe like a little bit of some pink shimmer in there excuse my fingernails too by the way I need to repaint them I know my fingernails chip so easily though but I'm about to repaint them with a nail polish that I'm going to show you that I just bought. <laughs> this is the last eyeshadow from them that I bought. And this is Wisteria. And this is just a really light purpley like, lavender color. And then the last thing that I ordered from there was in the Z palette. Uh, I'm so excited. Um, they have different colors. Mine is in the hot pink color. And it's just a makeup palette. But there's no like my mac palette i'll just show you just for to compare excuse it it's dirty my mac palette like i don't know if you can tell but there's like the rings that you put each of them in and that's great but this one doesn't have that so you can fit more stuff in it like you can fit things that are squared or rectangled or round or just whatever um fit them in there because there's no like divider there's no anything there and also i like it because the lid is clear so you can see what's in there they also give you some magnets that these come with it so you don't have to buy those if you need to like depot something and put it in there yourself and they actually took the time and hand wrote a card and put it in my order and it just says chelsea thank you for your order we hope you enjoy your new makeup have a fabulous day love makeup geek and i just thought that that was really neat and amazing customer service that they took the time to like hand write a little note and stick it in my order like i don't know i just not a lot of companies that I personally order from do that and so I just was really impressed with the company I was impressed with the customer service the products are amazing so I will definitely be ordering from Makeup Geek again so the next thing that I got was um the 10 blush palette from Coastal Scents I really like this palette they're good blushes and um there's some pinks there's some peaches some nude brown colors there's like a rosy mauve color um, there's hot pinks and light pinks and peaches and browns. The next thing is, that I got is it's the Revlon Color Stay Whipped Foundation. My shade is 200 Sand Beige. I love this foundation. Like, the one that I wore before this was a MAC one. And I want to say it was the MAC, like, I don't know, I have it right here. Like, Pro Longwear, maybe. Yeah, the MAC Pro Longwear Foundation. And I like it, but it's really, really thick and creamy. And I can feel it on my face. Whereas this one, like when you put it on, you know how when you put a primer on, it almost feels like silicone. Like it just kind of melts into your skin. That's how this feels to me. Like it's so lightweight and it just feels like a silicone going on. And it's just, and it's just a whipped foundation. And this is one of those products that a little bit goes a long way. It does not take a lot of this to cover my face. The next thing I got is... What is this? Oh, this is the Brow Tech To Go Crayon by Smashbox. And I love this thing. Um, I am in the color Taupe. And what it is, is one end is the crayon and it's slanted. And then the other end is a brow gel. I love this thing. <laughs> love it. Um, I have another eyebrow pencil from MAC that I really like, and it's I think it's in the color Fling. Um, I just really like this one. I think this one is neat because it's compact. Like, you have the pencil on one side and your brow gel on the other side, and it's just one thing. Or the next part that I'm going to go into is lip products that I recently got. This is the Rimmel Lipstick in Nude Delight. I love this color. I have a nude color from MAC that is one of those nude colors when you put it on your lips like makes you look like you don't have any lips nude. This one is more of a peachy brown nude color so it still adds some color to your lips. The next one is the Revlon Color Stay Ultimate Suede and this one is in front row and this is just like a really light pink color. 
pink peachy color. Um, I really like that. This one is from Philosophy, and this is the Melon Daiquiri um, lip gloss, and it's got some glitter shimmer in it. I wanted a lip gloss that wasn't colored, that was just more fleshy tone that would just go with my natural lip color, but had some shimmer in it, so I got this one. Love it. it. The only thing that I will say about this is that it tastes good, too, so you'll be licking your lips the whole time it's on. <laughs> this is the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie lip gloss, and mine is in the color Hot Shot. And one, the thing that I like about this lip gloss is it's, I don't know if you'd call it an actual plumping lip gloss, but it has that feel when you put it on your lips where it's tingly or almost like a minty feel, if that makes sense. Like you can feel it on your lips and I like personally like that. But um, this is what, it's just like a really pretty pink color. It's a little bit more pink than what's shown up. It looks more peach on the camera, but it is pink. Um, and I'll swatch a little bit of that for you too. Oh, the other thing that I do like about these lip glosses, I have another Bare Minerals lip gloss and I like, is that the brush is angled like that. And to me, it just makes it easier when you're putting on your um, lip gloss. And this one smells really good too. But that is that one. And I really like this on. This looks really pretty, like layered over a pink lipstick. It just makes it pop a little more and makes it look shiny and glossy. But this is also really pretty just by itself on your lips. Um, it just adds like a little bit more pink color to your natural lips, which I like. So, okay, let's see. The next category, I guess, would be makeup brushes. And I have some from Sigma and some from Real Techniques. And I know that these are going around everywhere on youtube and so i decided to purchase some and try them out and i love them these are from real techniques and i have the powder brush this is so soft and does not shed i love it this is the blush brush um this is kind of big for a blush brush but i i mean i still use it i like it i have another brush that i use for blushes too but i do like this one as a uh for my blush and this is also really just soft and doesn't shed then i have the i believe this one is the setting brush yeah setting brush i got this one to set like under your eyes with and it's amazing for that i've also seen people use it for their bronzer if you want like a really chiseled like cheekbone with your bronzer it's great for that these are from sigma the ones that i got are the sigma e30 and this is the pencil brush i love this one i use this for like your um, lash line under your lashes then i got the tapered blending e40 brush and this is just like the big fluffy brush that everyone use you know for your crease or whatever the next one that i got is the f80 flat kabuki brush i'm pretty sure like everyone has this but it's just a flat kabuki brush and i use this for foundation and i actually ordered those three and they sent me a what is this oh the e05 eyeliner brush what's next <laughs> Oh, okay, so the next category is going to be nail polishes. I am so obsessed with nail polishes, and I don't know why because I hate training my own nails. Okay, so the first one that I got is from Essie, and this one is in Raspberry. I actually really like this one for winter just because it's more of like a dark berry color. The next one I got is the Sally Hansen Gem Crush. And this one is in Big Money. And it's like a, it's gold glitter, but it's got some purple in there. And then I got another one of the same thing. It's the Sally Hansen Gem Crush, but this one is in Blingtastic. And it's just like a really pretty turquoise glitter color. And it's got like some silver, like bigger silver pieces of glitter. I really like both of these. I love glitter. Love glitter. I don't even know what else to say about it. I just really like glitter. <laughs> Anytime like I see something with glitter, it just automatically makes me happy and I want it. So um, yeah. The last one is from Orly and it is Oh Cabana Boy. It's just like a really pretty hot pink and it's got some blue purpley tint to it. So yeah. Sorry that this video ended up being extremely long, but I had a lot of stuff that was recently purchased that I just wanted to share with you. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed and maybe, I don't know, got an idea of something new you want to try. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. Bye! Mwah.